could you please give a big warm Melbourne welcome to the author, Mr. Owen Colfer. Come on, let's hear it. There he is. I grew up telling stories and I didn't necessarily know that I wanted to be a writer. I just knew I had stories in my head and I wanted to put them on paper. And even before I could write, I was pretending to write on blackboards with chalk. Yes, this is chapter one. And uh, just squiggle, squiggle, squiggle. So it was something that was in me from an early age. But I think when I was about 16, I realized, wait a minute, I could get a book published maybe. I've been working on the Artemis Fowl books for over a decade and I think the time is right to bring them to an end because Artemis has gone from being a bad guy uh, to the end of the last book, he's a good guy. And also I think no grown man should be allowed to lie on a sofa thinking about leprechauns for more than 10 years, it's just time to get out. Well, my favourite things to do are to go and see art museums. No, I'm lying. My favourite things to do are to go and watch superhero movies like the Avengers. <laughs> That's, I, have to, I, have to, I have to be honest, That's, I, love, I love going to movies and comedy clubs, I like those. And then if there's any time left, I buy postcards of culture places and I send them home to pretend that I'm all wise and stuff like that. Oh, wait, I did one thing. My son says to me one day, he said, I, I said, what did you do in school expecting? Uh, and, he, and he said, no, dad, no, no. I broke a record. I said, what? Finally. Finally, my son has broken a record. I said, what record did you break? He said, I went to the bathroom 15 times. <laughs> I never thought Artemis would be popular, and I'll tell you why. It's because it's about a bad guy. And I thought, who's going to want to read a book where the bad guy is, becomes the hero? So every year I think, well, this year it's not going to work. It's, they're gonna, I'm going to be found out this year. But so far, uh, it's been really good, and it's been a very positive experience. And with just one more to go, I'm hopeful that we can go out on a high. When I'm writing a book, I spend eight months in an office on my own. And then when I take it out on the road, any loneliness that I have built up over that time, it just explodes out of me when I talk to a few thousand kids every day. So, so it's like two parts of the same puzzle and they fit together perfectly. And the only time they speak English is when they try and say what you said back to them in a silly voice. So it sounds like the stupidest thing in the world. So you say to them, would you like some food for your breakfast? Oh, would I like some food for my breakfast? I don't know. Of course I would. Oh, no, no, I much prefer to just lie down and die. Oh, that's what You'd like that, wouldn't you, if I just didn't take the food and I laid I just wanted to give them some cornflakes. No, no, sure, yeah, yeah. Murder me. Why don't you just stick a knife straight in my face? Why don't you just do that? I love the Australian kids because they're very open, they're very honest. Uh, sometimes they can be a little quiet at the beginning, but once they know that they've got permission to go crazy, they go for it. And, and so we have great audiences all over uh, the countryside. And many of them have Irish ancestry. So uh, they will say to me, my great great grandfather is from Ireland. Uh, he died in 1872. Do you know him? So I don't know how old they think I am, but obviously it's well over 100. <laughs> So, but I, I like that, I like that they have a sense of humour and a spirit, it's lovely. This is the only strong part of my body is this hand. I have the hand of uh, Sylvester Stallone and the body of Jackie Stallone. Uh, when Artemis wraps up, I, I have a several projects in the pipeline. I'm working with a few friends on screenplays. It's just kind of a pastime, it might happen. But what will definitely happen is uh, I'm continuing my crime writing career so I have another book in the crime writing series in the crime series coming out next year and I'm starting a new series for um, uh, young, young adults the same age group as Artemis which is called WARP which stands for Witness Anonymous Relocation Program uh, which is about Victorian London and the present day they get all mixed up in time travel so it's exciting and funny uh, but it's a bit more dangerous than Artemis.